Hello Typeform users. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily create a custom PDF document from the data submitted to a Typeform form. For the demo purpose, I'm using uh, the t-shirt template, uh, t-shirt order form, which is uh, one of the out of the box templates available uh, in Typeform. Um, so what, what we're going to do, we're going to generate a PDF file and then store the PDF file in Dropbox and also email it back to the person um, who submitted it. In order to generate a PDF uh, document, I use Google Docs as a template. So uh, I have gone ahead and created this Google Docs. So i am put placeholders here. Now I'm going to show you how you can um, use this, this Google Doc template in Zenfi and merge the data collected from uh, Typeform to generate a PDF. Let's get started. So I'm going to head back to Zenfi, to my workspace. Zenfi is a no-code uh, workflow automation platform which enables you to automate your processes as you will see with just drag and drop. If you don't have a Zenfi account, just head to zenfi.com, click uh, get it uh, started for free and create your uh, free Zenfi account. Once you're here, click on the create a flow on the plus button, which brings you here. In this case, I'm gonna start the flow as soon as a type form is submitted. So I'm gonna select the trigger. This is the event which starts the form as type form. Now, it brings me to the uh, Zenfi workflow designer canvas. First thing, I'm gonna rename this, generate uh, all their PDFs. First thing I want to do, I want to configure the trigger. Remember, this is the event which starts the uh, process. Now, clicking on a trigger, I need to select a connection. Basically, you want to select a connection to connect to the type form um, account that you have. If you don't have a connection, just click on the plus button and uh, continue with authorization, sign in with the account you've got the form on, and then you press OK. Um, the connection is going to show up here. In this case, I'm going to use this account and this is the form I'm going to use. As you can see, as soon as I select the form, all the fields available on the form will appear here. Now, the next step I want to do, I want to go here in Google Docs and drag and drop this action, generate document using templates. This, these are the what we call actions. These are the building blocks of your uh, workflow or your process. It's like Lego blocks. You stack them up to automate the process. So this action enables us to generate a custom, um, a generated document based on a um, template and a data co coming from various uh, sources. Again, similar. I'm going to select a connection. If you don't have one, plus uh, plus, and I'm going to select this type form template which I showed you earlier. Let me quickly browse. Look, as soon as I select the form, it receives all the information that um, we put placeholder on on the form. Now let's just start filling them up. So we can start mapping them uh, by clicking on this button. I come back to submit it on. Basically, if we go back here one more time, these are the ones that we need to uh, fill out. So I'll start with this. If you click on this little guy here, you can access uh, all the information from your trigger or from the previous action. So for submitted by, I need to use the email address or maybe I use the first name and the last name of the person who submitted it. First name, space, last name. For the t-shirt kind, I select the t-shirt kind. Um, for the size, do the same. For quantity, I guess the question was uh, how many would you like to order? And name, I do the same. I use um, first name, space, last name. 
for the email address use the email address of the person um, email address this is the one preferred shipping method I think it was the last question yeah that one and for the shipping address I use um, a mixture of this what's your address I press enter 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 and country that's pretty much it now uh, the reason I have left um, submitted on empty is because I want to uh, for I want to uh, print it out in a specific format not just the full date time format maybe I just want to put it as a date format so for that I'm going to use another action called uh, current date current date time which gets a current date time in a specific time zone and down here you can specify the format you want to output it as uh, maybe I just want to get like this format is fine you can use any other format that uh, works for you but this format is fine the other option you've got also you as an output of the trigger you also get a uh, date time from the trigger and you can format that as well now here what I wanted to show you, the reason I did this, I want to show you that you don't have to use everything just from the trigger, you can mix and match. So me, instead of going and using the created time, I'm going to use the output formatted result of this, this guy. Now, I have mapped all the items. Next thing I want to do is asking me, where do you want to store this? I've already created a folder called generated um, documents. So I store it in this folder and for the name of the document, I actually use the um, first name, the space last name of the person who submitted it. And one final thing is, well, while you add it, you say, go and please export it to PDF as well. Okay, um, now that we have got the PDF document, the final step was, or we want to email it back to the person who submitted it. Um, again, I've got two options. I can here either drag and drop this action, send email, or I can also come here, it's the same thing, click and search for send email, select it, start configuring it. Um, similar thing, select the uh, connection, it says who do you want to send it to? I say go. Uh, Get the email address from here, this one. Um, and let's configure the subject order received. And here we can say hi. I'm just going to put the first name here. Uh, first name. And continue on. We have um received your order please find a copy of your order attached and down here final list and you can configure this and format this however you want down here the final thing is that i'm going to attach the pdf document it's automatically suggesting most popular item you may want to use but if I want to dig, dive, digger, uh, dive deeper, I'll show you. Well, here we're going to go and say from the, this action, the output of this action, go get a PDF document, attach it, and um, put it there. I'm going to press save. That's pretty much it. Publish. Okay, it gives me the link. Thank you very much. The document to complete. Let's complete the documents. Um, Say first one, a small, I need two, please. And here I say all three. Three one eight six. 
um, Victoria, Australia, and finally I'm going to do express shipping because I'm in a rush. Press submit. Now see what happens. As soon as I press submit, I head, let's head back to Zempi. Um, close this. Hey, step out of this for a second. I can show you an, an instance of this uh, flow that we just created is started. And if you click on the instance, you can see the live progress actually has already finished running. But you can see the live progress. And if I go back to this person's inbox, um, I refresh. As you can see, the order has been received. And if I look at the attachments, it's got all the information that we included in there. At the top, we, if you remember, we format the date and time. Here is the name and all the information. And even here, we use the same token and we create a dynamic um, title. So if I go back here and show you, so you've got a token here, it's the same token, it, it is the same, but it's got a different formatting. So you can do that as well. And go further down, you've got the, um, all the other information configured as well. So um, uh, just like that, you can uh, create a PDF and um, do a lot more actually there. You can, for example, uh, based on the, so based on the data you've submitted to Typeform, you can, for example, go and look up some other information from the top, uh, from the item, from a Google sheet. You can use the action called look up, uh, look up row, or you can, um, as I mentioned initially, you can use the save file action um, to Dropbox. You can say, you know what, go and save the PDF document. Uh, go and save the PDF document to a specific Dropbox Dropbox folder. And you can also create a folder hierarchy based on the um, date time and all those things. And if, if you ever need it before emailing the customer, you can also get an approval. Um, you can drag and drop one of these approval tasks, for example, assign a task to a human and say, um, then you can add an if statement here and say, configure the thing and say only if approved go and send an email. So um, there's no limit on what you can do, but as you can see, you can get it started quite easily and let your process grow and Zenfi is there throughout the journey to support you. Everything is done with just a few drag and drop. Thank you very much. I hope uh, Zenfi gives you more opportunity to uh, use uh, the, the form product that you like, uh, I mean type form, even for more and more use cases. And yeah, happy automating.